Hey y'all, uh, I'm Frank James, and over the summer, <laughs> which is the worst of this, <laughs> over the summer, because I couldn't find a respectable job, I decided to work as a camp counselor at Duke University. Um, but the only catch is that I worked with a bunch of weirdos. So like the first day of orientation, my boss sits us down in a circle, and he says, all right, everyone, for our introductions, I want us all to say our name, where we're from, and our greatest existential fear. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so the girl on my left says, I'm afraid that everyone secretly hates me. And I say, I'm afraid that I actually like spending more time alone than with other people. And then the guy on my right just says, I, uh, this is difficult for me to talk about, but, uh, I have this existential fear that volcanoes might actually be real. <laughs> and I realize in this moment how much power I have. <laughs> I could Google something as simple as, are volcanoes real? <laughs> and it would just completely break him. <laughs> I could lean over and whisper, hey Barry, Pompeii was not an inside job. <laughs> Pompeii was a volcano. <laughs> and that would just cast him into a dark nihilistic abyss. <laughs> that, my friends, is real power. <laughs> so while I was there, I needed to get a haircut. So I walked into this establishment uh, run by a guy named Mr. Bones, <laughs> spelled with a Z. Um, I know this because he had a tattoo B-O-N-E-Z tattooed on his forearm. Uh, he also told me his name was Mr. Bounce. Um, so I walk in, and I say, and he asks, you here for a haircut? To which I respond, hell yeah, I'm here for a haircut. Been waiting for this my entire life. Uh, this was my first mistake. <laughs> so as he's putting the apron around me, I feel like I need to say something. So I say, I feel like I need to say something. Uh, Mr. Bones, call me Bonesy. Uh, Bonesy. Uh, I actually haven't been waiting for this haircut my entire life. I lied to you when I got in here. And for some reason, he just gets really angry. And he goes, you bet you come from a family of liars and thieves. Liars and thieves, all of you. Uh, your mother, your father, you, all liars and thieves. I was so offended. I was so offended that I took his wallet while he wasn't looking. My mom was so proud of me. Uh, I want to digress for a second. Does anyone know the rapper Common? Okay, I like three people. He's got this song called It's Your World, which is all about being uplifting and inspirational and uh, being who you want to be. But about halfway through, it cuts to a bunch of kids' voices. Um, and they're saying what they want to be when they grow up. So the first kid says, I want to be an astronaut. And the next one says, I want to be the first African-American female president. And the last one says, I want to be a duck. <laughs> and I wonder like, what was rejected that that kid was allowed to say that they wanted to be a duck. <laughs> didn't go like, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be the first African-American female president. I also want to be the first African-American female president. Uh, no kid, we already have one of those. Uh, you gotta be unique and uplifting. Well, I want to be a rocket propulsion system. Well, that is uplifting. <laughs> not what we're going for. Well, then I want to be a duck. Just, just do it, just roll with it. And I wonder if this kid ever goes back and listens to this song and thinks to himself, damn, I gave up on my dream too early. As he turns back to his job as the first African-American female president. I think, to be com completely honest, I think I missed that time in my life when I wanted to be something that was, you know, an animal. 
Um, <laughs> over the summer, one of my coworkers told me her darkest secret. So now I'm gonna tell everyone. Um, she told me that when she grew up, she wanted to become a horse. So I said, wow, Amanda, that's great. Follow your dreams. And you know what she said to me? Nothing, because horses can't talk. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to finish up with one last story. So after we put the kids to bed, uh, the other counselors and I would stalk around the building with water guns, and we would try and get the drop on each other. So one night, I heard some rustling from around the corner. So I get out my super soaker. I whip around the corner and I fire. And when the dust clears, it wasn't a counselor. It was one of the kids in my group. I had shot my own kid. He, he crumples to the ground. I rush over and I hold him in my arms. He looks up at me and says, Frank, all I wanted was a drink of water. So I say, Evan, I can't give you that. But I can give you salvation. So I take my gun. I put it in his mouth. And I pull the trigger. Next up, we have a comedian who can't open his eyes underwater. It's John Stark. <laughs>